All right. How you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News and Dr. Fauci, the smartest man on the planet Earth and the highest paid federal employment, federal government employee leech has come out with a new rule. You now have to wear 15 masks. So after you go down and see my buddy Vinny at the Institute and get your anal swabbing test for COVID, make sure you put on your 15 masks so you're well protected. The smartest man on earth. Next to Bill Gates, of course. Okay, let's see what Potato Head's up to. He signs his 40th executive order. Let's take a listen to Slow Joe. And the second, uh, uh, the second uh, order I'm going to be signing also changes what the president has done. He don't even know who's president. You mean ex-president, right? President, the, the president, what former president uh, has done, and that uh, a memorandum reversed the my predecessor's attack on women's health, <laughs> health access. <laughs> there he goes, potato head, coughing all over himself again. This guy is a freaking joke. Yes, and uh, as we continue to battle COVID-19. Well, he looks good, doesn't he? I don't know if he's going to make it this year. Okay, Potato Head Biden. Here's here here you go, folks. Here's what it's really all about. Biden eyes shifting <clears throat> the COVID nineteen funds to climate change programs. Taking the funds from COVID nineteen because he says there's nothing we can do about it, and he's going to give them to the climate change fund to FEMA, so they can just. Use the funds as they want to fight climate change. Because, you know, that's really the problem. And don't worry, you're still going to have to wear your mask so you don't emit that deadly gas, CO2. You know, the gas that makes plants grow. But the lefties have convinced everyone that CO2 is a poisonous gas. So... Slow Joe is going to divert funds to climate change because he can't get it done any other way. He's got to do it by executive order. You know, 40 executive orders he's done already. That's not how our government's supposed to work. You are not the fucking king. You are not the dictator. You're supposed to go through Congress and have our representatives vote on this stuff. You just don't get to decide what we're all going to do. This is completely insane. Governor Cuomo severely undercounted bombshell report. <laughs> bombshell report blows the whistle on New York nursing home deaths. Apparently, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo is responsible for more nursing home deaths than we originally thought. A lot more. According to a bombshell new report, the death toll in New York State nursing homes was severely undercounted, the New York Times reports. Unbelievable. It's finally happening. New York Governor Cuomo is going to have to answer for his role in the nursing home tragedy and cover the up. And the cover up. Yeah. I, I doubt it. I doubt if he's going to have to answer for anything. I guess this is why they went through such great lengths to avoid having this conversation. That, and it undercuts the thesis of Cuomo's book on leadership. New York Times reported this. What, what's going on? What's wrong with them? <laughs> this dude wrote a book about pandemic leadership. And he got an Emmy for it. Whatever the fuck that is. And I don't even know who gives those. Who gives a shit? Anyway, moving on. Bill Gates. 
the second smartest man on the face of the earth behind Anthony Fauci, COVID vaccination passports could help open up our economy faster. Who gives a shit what this douchebag has to say about anything? Who made this guy an unelected official? When did he become a medical expert? When did he become a vaccination expert? He has as much authority as I do. I, I'm, 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 I'm decided I'm a medical expert now, YouTube. If Bill Gates can say this crap, so can I. I'm going to say shit about vaccine. And no, I'm going to say, no, you know what? You don't need a passport because I have deemed myself, I identify as a medical expert. So I overrule this douchebag and no, you don't need these. So there you go. I, I identify as a medical expert and you don't need them. All right, here's something really scary. The Department of Justice has finally woke up and got to the bottom of a big, big case. Pro-Trump meme maker Ricky Vaughn indicted for using Twitter to spread election disinformation to Hillary Clinton voters in 2016. He faces 10 years in prison. They came after this guy for making a meme about Hillary five years. Years ago. Five years ago. Let that sink in for a second. And he faces 10 years in prison. This is the Twitter avatar he used. A pro-Trump meme maker and Twitter troll... <laughs> tongue twister. Twitter troll was indicted Wednesday by the feds for using a social media platform to spread election disinformation. This is crazy. This is insane that they arrested somebody for making a meme. Is this where we want our country to go? What happened to the very First Amendment free speech? It don't matter if you like it. It don't matter what you think of it. What he did was make a, a meme that gave a false phone number to vote. Text Hillary to vote and be a part of history. Okay, it was a joke. They arrested him. The guy may face 10 years in prison. This is where we're headed with our society. This is the actual Department of Justice website, their press release. I'm not going to read this, but I'm going to put the link in the description. You have to go read this. The wokeness in this country is going to bury us. And now that they've arrested that guy, whoa-oh, better come after this chick. She's a lefty. Hey, Trump supporters, skip the poll lines and text in your vote. Text votes are legit. Or vote tomorrow on Super Wednesday. You know, Super Wednesday. It's really Super Tuesday, right? But no, she's a lefty. She'll get away with it. Here we go. Watch her do the same thing that they just arrested uh, Ricky Vaughn for. Hey everybody, this is Christina Wong, and uh, I'm coming out, I'm a Trump supporter. And I just want to remind all my fellow Chinese Americans for Trump, people of color for Trump, to vote. Vote for Trump on Wednesday, November 9th. Really important day, we're going to show this country who's boss, and that's our man, Donald Trump. So don't forget to vote Donald Trump on November 9th. But that's fine, because she's a lefty. And they're full of shit, hypocrites, and double standards. And the Department of Justice is a joke. All right, let's move on because nothing will happen to this chick. You won't believe who wins big with the Keystone cancellation. Remember, folks, always follow the money. You can probably figure it out if you think about it for a minute. There's a guy we all know. He portrays himself as a very wealthy, grandfatherly twipe. He's just kind, a kind old man. He's an aw shucks investor. You know, I just look for value. Okay, Buffett. Warren Buffett. 
gives a lot of money to the Democratic Party again, packs that will do his bidding, which brings us to the fortune he will make with Joe Biden killing the Keystone Pipeline. He owns Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad. What a coinkydink. And they will carry up to 80% of all the oil flowing into America. And that is the payback Mr. Buffett gets for having them shut down the pipeline. What a shocker. This just never changes. I don't know what we can do about any of this at this point. It's very frustrating. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's edition of the Aimless News. Subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, because remember, the Aimless News must be told. <laughs>